All right, in this lesson, we are going to partition shapes into equal shares. And look at the word partition. I see the word part here. That's a big clue. In other words, we're going to be cutting up these shapes into parts. And in, in this case, we're going to make sure that they're equal. So let's take a look at our circle here. I've cut it down the middle. I've partitioned it into two parts. And they are equal. And since they are equal, then they are in halves. Same for my rectangle over here. I've cut it down the middle. I've got an equal part here, an equal share here. This is half, this is half. So that means I can say they are halves because they're equal. How many parts or how many halves make a whole? Two halves always make a whole. One half plus one half equals my whole one. Let's try some more. Now here are my same shapes, and they are still in halves, only this time. I'm cutting it differently, but they are still equal, so I can say that they are halves. What if I cut it like this, though? I've got two parts. I've partitioned it, but are they equal? No, this one's smaller than this one, and this one's the larger one, right? So I cannot say they are halves. Halves have to be equal. Same for this. If I cut it here, not half. I did not cut it in half. The parts are not equal. Now let's try thirds. Now we have thirds. We've divided up our shapes into equal shares into three parts. And because they are equal, we can say these are thirds. How many thirds make up a whole? Well, always three thirds. One third, one third, and one third. Three of them make up my whole. Same over here, one-third plus one-third plus one-third makes up my whole. Here's another way I can partition my rectangle. Having my lines go horizontal, as long as they are equal parts, I can say that this is thirds. However, notice how all my parts here are not the same size. And so, um, in fact, let me pull this out just a little bit more just to make sure that this one is smaller. So this one is smaller, this one is big, they are not equal. So I cannot say I cut this into thirds. I can say I cut it into three parts, but I cannot say that they are thirds because they are not equal. Now I'd like you to get a piece of paper and a pencil and draw a circle on your piece of paper and draw a rectangle on your piece of paper and try to partition both of those shapes into four equal shares so that you would be cutting them into fourths. Are you ready to pause the video? Pause it now. Okay, I want to know how you did. Did you get the same thing as me? Now, there's more than one way you could have divided them into fourths. So I'll show you how I'm going to do it. Did you divide your circle the same way as me? How about your rectangle? So here's one way you might have done it at home. Here's another way you might have done it. These lines go horizontal. These are definitely fourths. And how many fourths make up a whole? Four of them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four. Is there any other way? Here's another way. And here's even another way. Now they're divided up into triangles, but they are equal shares. And I want to share one more important thing with you. Something that's really important too is that the equal shares don't have to be the same shape. They need to be the same size, yes, but not necessarily the same shape in order to be equal. Um, first, I'm going to show you some examples where they are the same shape and then some where they are not. So I divided this square up into three parts or thirds and they are all equal parts. Here's another example. Now my lines go this way. We've got three equal parts, so it's in thirds. Now check out this one. I've got this part here, three squares, this part here, three squares, and this part, three squares, and they are equal for sure, but they're different shapes. And here's another example of the square being divided up into three equal parts, but yet different shapes. So we learned how to partition shapes into parts that are the same size, halves, thirds, and fourths. Thanks so much for tuning in.